What's up, YouTube? Rev here, and I'm sorry for the delay on uploading any type of vid videos in the past few days. Um, I did a wipe on my laptop to remove all the cookies, all the interruptions that are causing my videos to not upload fast enough because I want the best quality for my videos to give to you guys. And so during that time, I did install a new editing software called Pinnacle Studio Ultimate version 11. So far I'm editing this video you're watching right now with it and I'm kind of still a noob at it because I'm starting very vaguely getting a little bit better still I fucking suck at it um and for the delays it's because I would have had it instant. I would have had videos up instantly a day. They like, kept going throughout the whole days, but it's because suddenly when I did the wipe and reinstalled Windows 7, my Wi-Fi switch stopped working, and it didn't start flashing and trying to connect to my w router wireless. Only wired, only wired connection, a standard Ethernet cable plugged in would work. So I couldn't. I still couldn't do that because I was still trying to do repairs on it. And so I couldn't figure it out, so then I left it, let my dad look at it, he couldn't even figure it out either. We called Geek Squad from Best Buy and all that, and they did, had no idea what was, what was going wrong with it. So they said the best thing to do was reinstall Windows 7 and wipe your computer fresh again. And magic happened, it worked. So now this video is being uploaded, it's being edited right at this moment, like I haven't finished editing it quite yet. So that's why I'm doing a voiceover before I can finish editing it, and it just took forever to install all the updates, softwares, there was over 500 different update Windows updates to do on my computer. Um, I have a list somewhere of, here it is, everything I had to reinstall, I had to reinstall my HD, PBR, Total Media Extreme, Adobe Shockwave Player, CCleaner, Super NT Spyware, Dropbox, Skype, Win, WinRAR, VLC, YouTube Downloader, Java, uTorrent, iTunes, Adobe Flash Player, and Adobe Air. Those are just the main ones I needed to install, since that's what all helps function my computer. They all do a certain thing, except except like VLC and YouTube Downloader and uTorrent. Those really don't do anything in iTunes. Um, WinRAR kind of helps me to transfer some things. Skype and Dropbox don't really help. Sometimes they do if I'm doing a dual commentary. Um, some other things I have to say is that I will be doing some dual commentaries and there is one of my friends in this video at the moment. Say what's up. What's up? His name is R Byers 88 on the PSN. His original name is Chris. So we're going to be starting off this video by talking about a selected topic on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This topic is what, how to snipe. Um, for me, I just snipe for, like, whatever. Give me a sniper, I'll just use it. I'll use a sniper the proper way it's supposed to be used. Just hard scope. If you complain, then who cares? It's your your fault you went into a game. Your fault you bought Call of Duty and, and expecting people to quick scope, people to no scope, trick shot and all that. Sure, it's been quite a few Call of Duties, but why? Why do you have to quick scope now? What makes it a lot of quick scope? What do you think about that, Chris? I, generally, in my opinion, I like to quick scope, but hard scope being easier. But people whine about if you don't quick scope. Pretty much, they they complain most of the time because, like, they freak out. It's like, oh, he's hard scoping. Whatever, get over. I get hard scoped all the time. Sure, I complain, but that's because I got killed, not because they're hard scoping. If they're hard scoping, then whatever. They're using a sniper. What do you think in real life you're just gonna quick scope a random person in the war? You see like a guy jump off a 20 foot building and do a 360 no scoop or something? Do you think an actual military sniper would do that? Not really. Obviously not really. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> for your type of sniper, what would you use, and what would be your attachments on the sniper? There's the DSR, which I used in this game clip, which is the first sniper you can get. Not the SVU, that's the semi-automatic one that, I don't know f f what reason makes me, re it reminds me of an ant. 
just the eye on it, I guess. I don't know. What's the last one? The last or one, the, the last one, I believe, is the, damn, um, I think it's the Ballistia. The Ballistia well, isn't... Is the, the Ballistia is like is a bolt action sniper. The rest of them are all semi auto. As in another bolt action your bolt action you're talking about? I guess. The Ballistia, yeah, um you got you know what bolt action is, right? Yeah. Yeah, does it is it a bolt action gun? I think. Do, can you spray? <laughs> Not really. No, okay. Then yeah, it's the Ballistia. Uh what are your main attachments on that? Um normally laser and, um, uh, the fast, uh, mag. Fast mag. Do you use a second, uh, primary gunfighter on it for three attachments? No. You don't? Oh, I always use primary gunfighter for some reason. I usually tend to use, a a ballistic CPU and the FMJ because, one, if I want a quick scope, then I will be able to get that quick scope shot pretty easily. Um, and the FMJ is because all snipers in this game, they aren't as powerful as they sh as snipers should be. Um, there's constant hit markers in my games. Um, in this game, you see a few hit markers as well. That's what causes me to lose the game, lose that kill. A lot of times, I lose the game because I'm not getting those kills to protect, like, protect the bomb. And it's really pissing me off. Um, so... What is your favorite game mode to play with with a sniper? My favorite is the hardcore search and destroy. Reason for hardcore? You won't get hit markers. True. With a sniper. <laughs> that is true. I guess if I was gonna play hardcore, I'd use that SVU so then I can spray. Cause then if there's someone close quarters and that SVU gets you all those hit markers, um, SVU will be very reliable in a cert hardcore search or any type of hardcore but mostly hardcore search because then you could always spray it and get that one bullet to kill that guy um i would be playing hard hardcore if it wasn't so noobish and just overall op and just unfair because it's it's just so spam because a lot of people they just hold down that trigger to make sure they they just need one bullet to get the kill that's really all they need. Um, originally, other or otherwise, I would be playing if the people didn't just spam the the fire button the whole time. Um, for the rest of this topic, what's your most number one pet peeve about people using snipers? Normally, when they just um, complain and whine about that you're not doing like 360 last shot or quick scoping. For me, it's just like, for me, I'm so used to it where like I've I've heard all the complainers and everything, where now I'm just, I just tell them there's a reason why they put snipers in the game and a scope on it for you to aim down the sights and get that kill. There's a reason why they put so much detail into it. Uh, it's because they want you to get that kill. They want you to compete. They want it to make it tough. They don't want to make it easy to run away from a sniper. A lot of the times it is. A lot of the, a few of the times it isn't because there is that one guy that took the time to practice quick scoping we're not all going to take the time to practice the only time i practice if it, is if i'm playing with my cousin little cousin and he wants to play some combat training and just put some bots on and i use it usually use the dsr and i just go around quick scoping it's fairly difficult actually i can tell you that it's a lot different from all the other call of duties it's a little different from black ops too because usually the sway tends to go one way when you very first aim down a sight every time you spawn otherwise it starts to sway other way under other directions and so I usually tend to aim a little off and then drag to the side, and it usually gets me that kill. Because I'm usually good at pressing the trigger when I know there's a target in front of it, in, in the sight, line of sight. I usually tend to know when to do that. Nice. Um, what's the most amazing kill you've ever gotten with a sniper? Like, I was messing with my nephew... And I did like 360 in the air, then kept on going, spinning, and shot him. You just got that fluke, fluke bullet that went in right into him. Yep. Yeah, I get those occasionally. Um, 
every once in a while when I just want to fuck around I'm like say there's a few seconds left in demolition per the round and I just go ahead and do that shot and I tend to I sometimes get hit markers I got a few kills I, I'd say I've got shot did that about over a hundred times now in Call of Duty and I usually got about 15 kills and about 30 hit markers I don't know I don't know if I'm just I know how to do it now or if I, it's just pure luck I'm guessing it's pure luck I find myself a terrible sniper I don't know if that's just me. I find myself not a good gamer because I always get that one game where I go like 72 and like 50 and that's a terrible game for me. Uh, you've been in a few of my games. What's one game you've seen me play that ha you haven't seen recently on YouTube at all? Um, the... We haven't seen the West Side mode and um, when we got in that circle and took turns spinning around shooting that's mortal mode. Mortal mode. Oh. Um, what about an online game where I was trying to get a gun gold or anything? Just an overall online I've game. I've been in that game. You've been in a few games with me online, though. Oh, I have? I think so. Like, I think one or two. Because you got Black Ops really late. Yeah, I haven't been in those online games. I've been in custom games with you or zombies. Oh, that's right. No, I'm thinking of y Papa Ito. Papa Ito might be in another one with me, but he's uh, he's actually fairly good at this game. Uh, he's been in a few lobbies where I went one game, I think I went 181, and like 16. That recording, I tried to go and play it, and play it. I was trying to record it, like I had my HTPBR set up, already recording, and I just sat back and watched, and then it cut in the middle of the video. It, the 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 game clip the game was about 15 minutes long and it cut and it stopped at like five minutes where that not even to the point where i went all out rampage i was about 20 kills in and about like two deaths i was already used my warthog and i already got up to, and i didn't i didn't get my swarm i think i was a few few points away on what game mode uh it was demolition spawn trapping oh but still, it's really hard to get that many. Yeah. Um, so, for a sniper, what do you think, how do you feel when you're going on carrier and you're going up against that one sniper that goes in that typical sniper spot? What, how do you feel about people doing that? When they just go on that... They go um, up on the up, that. That uplift. Oh, when they just go in that spot, they can easily, um... Peek their head over. Yeah, peek their head over, or put shock charges at the door, and then just keep on sniping from the regular do um, window. How about when, uh... Or no, when this little bunker wasn't it you are talking about? Oh, yeah. Were you... What were you talking... Were on carrier? Yeah, the, um... Small spot near the jets. Yeah, the jets yeah that's it's that i'm talking about like where that slanted little thing is i forget it's like where you can go in down a ladder two along doors. what two doors yeah it's where that i think it's a helicopter that's right there oh above it i'm so confused <laughs> we confuse each other good job <laughs> yeah. well, um there's a helicopter above you know um, where the two spawns are? You know where the two spawns yeah. are? You know how, like, if you run over where that, there's, like, a crash helicopter or something? Um, yeah. Yeah, but then there's, like, a little uplift type thing that you can walk up, and you see a lot of people plant their attack insertions and all that, and they just peek their head over head glitch type thing. Yeah. And then they can see right across a clear shot of the whole map, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, that's the spot I'm trying to talk about. It's, like, really easy to kill them if you know where they are. There's uh, two typical spots that usually uh, the sniper really only needs to aim down and focus on. It is str straight down ahead, like where the, the, the people from their spawn could just run right across. And yeah. there's over where the corner where they will go behind behind to make sure they can try and get a clear shot of you and kill you as fast as they can before you snipe them. That thing really, that part really pisses me off. Um, does it kind of piss you off? Does it make you, have you ever gone there to snipe? I haven't gone there to snipe, but it a little bit annoys me when I can't get 
um, like on the right side of them, there's a small spot where there's I gotta cut ladders. you off here. I got it's we're getting to the near the end of this video. So please like this video. Help me get more popular. 